60-year-old Israeli Yosef Perez and his 17-year-old son Liber from Ofakim are in recovery after being stabbed by a 15-year-old Palestinian terrorist. And the pair were attacked Saturday morning while visiting a Palestinian dentist in the village of Azun. And the father, Yosef, was lightly injured in the arm while his son Liber remains hospitalized with multiple stab wounds to the upper body. Yosef's brother was also present for the attack but was not hurt. <laughs> But thankfully for the Perez's, their dentist, Dr. Amin, actually came to the rescue. During the uh, returning to the lobby where the attack was underway, Yosef describes to Walla News how Dr. Amin jumped on the attacker and, quote, held him up against the wall to hit him while we escaped. And Amin later asserted to Channel 12 News that inside his clinic, they are all his patients. But as for the assailant, the 15-year-old suspect is thought to have surrendered to Palestinian authorities, while the IDF has arrested his father. And now for more on Israeli security after a weekend of terror attacks, please welcome to the studio Dr. Martin Sherman, founder and executive director of the Israel Institute for Strategic Studies. Dr. Sherman, as always, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for inviting me again. So, okay, so first of all, you know, this is kind of an unusual incident. Uh, how, how, how would you kind of look at, at what occurred just over the weekend in Gaza and in the West Bank? Well, you know, I saw one news report saying that this didn't generate the usual sympathy for the victims because, you know, somehow they were looking for a cheap dental treatment in the Arab sector rather than going to a Jewish dentist. But, you know, on the other hand... Uh, on the other know, hand, their Palestinian dentists uh, saved their lives. That's, that's true, but on the other hand... I don't think there would be much uh, much anxiety or concern for the, the the safety of an Arab patient coming to a Jewish denti dentist, and I think that that uh, that sort of encapsulates it uh, the, the, the 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 situation completely, because whilst Arabs can walk around more or less uh, without fear in the in, in, in Jewish areas, Jews cannot do that. In fact, they're even uh, sometimes forbidden. To go into 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 Palestinian areas because of the fear of of of, of attack, but uh, you, you know I think this is a little bit this is this is sort of not the usual terror attack, and I think the attitude towards it is not the usual outrage that that we've that we've seen up to now for the reasons that I just said, because you know, perhaps the Jews should be more careful in in in, in going into these Arab areas, knowing what the reality is there. But but getting back to the wider question, you know, the, the 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 big issue is. Do you want to swat mosquitoes and, and try and uh, uh, thwart every terror, terror attack, or do you want to dry the swamp and 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 make the infrastructure on on which that uh, that, that well, terror uh, is, is based? Uh, if if you want to neutralise that infrastructure, that, that, those are two strategies. And Israel well, apparently hasn't chose, chosen the second. Well, but looking but looking at this incident, you know, in the West Bank stabbing in in particular, I wouldn't the argument for you know, uh, uh, getting Palestinians and Israeli Jews together uh, uh, kind of drive the narrative behind this? Like, wouldn't, wouldn't you want more Palestinian doctors or Israeli doctors working with Palestinians uh, and Palestinian doctors working with Israelis? Don't you want more, you know, well, mingling, I guess? In a parallel universe, maybe. Because well, but, saying, but no, everybody always says the, that education, educating the next generation is the best way to well, we remember, ameliorate we, the we, issue. We know what happened to, I forget his name now, but there was a very active uh, a dramatist who tried to uh, promote the, the Palestinian cause. And he was murdered by Palestinians in the Palestinian territory. Uh, you, you know, the, the point is there's no naive solution here. And as long as we relate to the Palestinians as a prospective peace partner and not as an implacable enemy, we were never able to... We will never be All able right. to formulate an effective anti-terror policy. All right, Dr. Sherman, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.